green and racing stud. Uh, unfortunately, Herbie is going to uh, let uh, all his Yanda Bishkop pigeons go out to the market. He has 47 in the total which he, he bought and every one of them, not one of them getting held back. Maybe Herbie will tell you the reason now why he's actually uh, letting these pigeons move, off and move on and someone will definitely benefit from these pigeons because I handled them here and they're really, really class pigeons they are. Uh, so maybe Herbie will tell us why uh, you're letting these pigeons off. But Jerry, really racing in the South Road Fed, you want to concentrate on sprint pigeons. And uh, the Yanda Bishop are mainly their, their uh, Gabby Van der Beely based pigeons. And uh, they're a middle distance pigeon which Jan flies very well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know he specialises uh, in uh, races from uh, two, 200 miles to 450 yeah. miles. And uh, I know you are very competitive uh, yourself and John Hayden. and. Uh, pigeons that with that distance from 200 thing you know i know john is not uh, interested he's yeah. more just as far as barley cove he is and it, it's these are you know what i mean they are a, a fantastic family of pigeons maybe you tell us how you well, come to uh, get the pigeons out. in 2017 myself and sheldon were in the annex or in jan's garden looking at the pigeons and there was a round there that a man in england hadn't hadn't collected and he, he yeah yeah sheldon asked me would i be interested in going half on a on a, on a round which was 50 pigeons yeah. so we got 25 each 2017 and Sheldon asked me in 2018 would it be interesting in buying another half each mm -hmm. and we did it again now I just don't have the room here Jerry to breed off the pigeons I don't have enough seed, single breeding pens but I bred off a few pairs and we've had great success with them you know I know uh, I know you asked me uh, around Christmas time last year yeah. uh, but I fit them in Blackpool and I hadn't got yeah, a slot, slot and I felt bad about that actually you, you wanted the thing because yeah. I know it was sort of annoying you looking in the avies and but seeing these pigeons I've paired up maybe 10 pairs of them out of, uh, of all the 50 pigeons and like this year alone one of, one of the pigeons bred us four force clubs and four force section T's and the champion young board in the in section T this year so they can, they can do it, even oh, though that. Oh, but then again, in the back of the uh, Jan Abishka pigeons, he was originally a sprint man. And That's correct. I think yeah. the 615, uh, he'd done a lot of winning that pigeon, and he's had it going on, and he's had it producing these uh, pigeons at the distance as well. He's a real good pigeon. But we have, I was looking, at, you know, when you got, gave me the pedigrees, and to be honest, I didn't really know a lot about the, the pig. Obviously, I've heard of Jan Abishka, and he's, he's nearly won every title from 2000. And 13 since he concentrated on racing the middle to uh, long distance and he's the titles that he's won it's unbelievable and even 2019 the overall uh, overall uh, national KBDB uh, champion pigeon as well and in the sale we we have a pigeon a half brother to that uh, uh, champion pigeon again the father of that pigeon he was actually seventh overall KBDB uh, champion pigeon as well you know so lot number one in the sale is direct from that cock which is unbelievable you know and lot number two is from a pigeon in 2019 when he had the, the super year to, uh, and 2018 as well he win the national with over 18,000 pigeons so I'm not just picking uh, 2019 these pigeons have done what it says on the tin at the proper race and if you're interested in racing pigeons from 200 miles to 450 miles 500 miles wherever these are the pigeons you need to get so rihanna was another pigeon uh, that won one of the big titles for him in 2019 and we pigeons here off the mother uh, rihanna as well in the sale so herbie does definitely nothing well, getting kept back is three, it no nothing not one pigeon but there's three people i can use for references arthur o'hanlon top the federation with one and the uh, old stuff ed Michael O'Callaghan topped the federation in the middle end stuff fed and Ian Bowser was second fed in Wales with them. So and that's just over a handful that's of That's only a handful of pairs we paired up. The majority of the 47 pigeons were probably never even paired, never up. paired up. And it's really a sin because, you know what I mean, myself and John Hayden was having a look at some of these pigeons and I have to say they're really, really uh, class pigeons and as I said, Jan de Bishop, uh, 
the race and record speaks for itself. I don't think it's a title that they haven't won in the last, from 2013 right up to 2020, that they haven't won with these family of pigeons. And the rounds that Herbie's talking about, it's not just a round of the uh, racing pigeons, it's off the principal stock pigeons. There's not one of these uh, principal stock pigeons that we haven't got a pigeon from here, or a couple of pigeons. That there's one uh, pigeon there, the new Olympia. Uh, there's uh, four direct from him, you know what I mean? So uh, it's un un unbelievable the, the, the quality of the pigeons. And so, uh, what was the lawyer, you know what I mean? You, you had the pigeons here, so it must have been heartbreaking to, to, to have pigeons of this quality. Yeah. And, I don't, I've only used a certain amount of room. Well, it's in your breeding yeah. pigeons, you see, and you're concentrating on, on the band of bulls. the pigeons, and the band and Leo Herman, yeah. and Andre Rilko pigeons. And these pigeons have just been left in the Avery since 2017, you know? So I, I can assure you, whoever is lucky enough to uh, buy some of these pigeons, you won't look back if that's the type of race you're into from 200 miles plus. And they have, as we say, they've won the sprint races. As Herbie has mentioned, a couple of people out of a few pairs that they bred from uh, have topped the bed in Sheldon, in 2019, Sheldon bred the young board that was second young board, Penzance National. INFC, which was 50% the Ander Bishop also, mm. you know. So. And Carl Donnelly was telling me there that some of his as well, he ended them in the one lap races and, and uh, they've had really good results, good results in the yeah. result. They are super pigeons, do a little bit of research on the Ander Bishop, we, uh, and you'll see what, what these pigeons are capable of doing, you know. Yeah. So, uh, you'd be probably sorry to see, see them go or Willie, <laughs> you know what I mean? When you're selling them, Jerry, some of them are beautiful, they're well balanced pigeons, lovely feathering pigeons, lovely size. Oh, yeah, they're me. not, you know, they're a lovely medium sized pigeon. And mm, mm. Yeah. So, your loss be someone else's gain. Oh, 100%, Jerry. What we're going to do as well, we're going to show you uh, some of the pigeons. As I say, there's pigeons. Uh, of all the champion Blackie, uh, Bliscombe Blackie 1, 2, there's all direct children of them. Their two ring numbers is 142 and uh, 078. They're all in it. Uh, the Jan, we have a full brother to the Jan. We've got a full brother to the, that pigeon that was over uh, seven national lakes, pigeon KBDB overall in Belgium. Uh, who's a pigeon the same way bred as him. He's the pigeon that bred uh, Blackie at 2019 who won the overall title all round champion at KBDB. So regardless of pigeons, you can't get any better. So what we'll do is we'll give you a quick look at some of the pigeons and uh, it's up to yourself then what you want to do after that. Uh, so we'll have a look at a couple of the pigeons. No, Harvey, 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 I think we have something really special in here. Yeah. First of all, she's a beautiful hen, beautifully balanced. She's a, a really, really a nice hen. And she's a direct daughter of Bliscom Blackie Ace. Bliscom Blackie Ace was the pigeon that was seventh national KBDB uh, pigeon uh, in 2017. He was. he was a really, really good pigeon. He won first national zone. First national zone with 3,000, I think, 100 and something boards. A really, really good pigeon. But more importantly, the father of this pigeon, which makes this pigeon a, a half sister to the 2019 overall champion KBDB of Belgium. Uh, this pigeon here in my hand. And to make her even more special, she's a direct daughter of uh, Liscom Blackie Worm. Which is the famous two hens, the 142 and uh, 078, the two famous sisters, one and two. This pigeon, unbelievably bred. She's a really, really nice hen, and I'm sure she's gonna uh, make someone very, very happy. There's not too many uh, chances to buy one, and if you do, you pay a lot, a lot of money for a half sister to the overall national uh, KBDB champion of Belgium. Uh, 2019, she's a beautiful hen there. Yeah, 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 she is. And it's really a sin as we say that. Uh, but no, this hen was never bred out. There you go. And there, there she is. She's a, half, she's a half sister to that pigeon. Uh, uh, 
the Blizzard Black India. Yeah. No, I won't believe. Hey, so there you go. Uh, okay, we'll have a look at uh, another one or two of them and we'll see. Okay, Harry, we have something really special here. Yeah, this is a lovely check white flight cotton journey from Blizzard Black India. The 078. Pigeon, yeah. She's the one of the main pigeons. I have to say, lads, I know exactly what this pigeon is, and he's very, very, very special. I told you with the last lot, uh, uh, the the Lis uh, Liscum uh, Blackie Ace was the seventh national uh, ace pigeon KBDB champion, and he bred the overall uh, all-round champion KBDB in 2019. That's the cock. This pigeon here is a full brother to him, lot number 21 is his number. And I have to say, when the, we come in here today, we sat with John Hayden. John Hayden looked into the basket, and this is the pigeon he picked out. And for anybody who doesn't know, John Hayden's involved in the partnership that's the champion flyers in the South Old Fed this year himself and uh, Herbie. So uh, this is a real, real special pigeon. He's direct from Gilbert and uh, Blackie, Bliskin Blackie uh, 2078 the hand, but really special, and it's a full brother to uh, Blackie Bliskin Ace, the seventh overall national. A really serious pigeon. And Herbie, you just told me before they switched on the camera, you haven't actually heard this. Bread from this pigeon now. It's un unbelievable, he's a super pigeon. The half pigeons just lie like that, and uh, he is, he's a really, really special pigeon, lot number 21. Really like this fella myself, John Hayden uh, uh, beat me to it for being a Jerry's choice. It's a really class uh, pigeon and I highly reckon, lot number 21. Soaked in all the champion pigeons. Okay, here we are, I think we have something special uh, here and uh, this is the pigeon I picked out as well earlier on. So he's a really, really nice cock and uh, he's one of the few pigeons that has been bred from all these Jan de Bishka pigeons and I believe he's a bit of a superstar. Maybe you can tell us a bit about this yeah, fella here. Jenny, he bred, he bred his four force clubs and he bred his four force section tees this year and he's a beautiful pigeon in the hand. He's one of the few we did breed off here. Yeah, and uh, the reason he's in the going for sale a uh, white beard, you see the nice little white beard on him. The reason he's going for a sale, because as we said earlier on, all the pigeons he's keeping, no pigeons no, back. The, par the parents of the two fed toppers are going, the parents of uh, the pigeon that was second fed in, uh, in uh, Wales is going the whole lot. So this cock here himself bred four section winners. Four section winners this year. This yeah. year, unbelievable. Not only that, Jerry, when we were getting the hen, the cock wouldn't be, it could be the second or third pigeon. Yeah, so yeah. I picked a real good one on this one. Yeah. Uh, and the father of this pigeon here, the father of this pigeon here is a full brother to the fame as uh, Blackie, uh, Blackie 1 and Bla Bliskin Blackie 2, which is the 142 and the 078, which are the principal hands of anybody who sees any of the videos on Jan the Bishop, they are the two main uh, hens and the father of this pigeon is a full uh, full brother to do them two pigeons and the mother of the pigeon is direct of uh, Uncle Hannah, another famous pigeon. That okay, we've got something really special here, he's a really nice cock pigeon uh, here and he's very very uh, well bred uh, pigeon as well. Maybe Herbie you tell me something yeah, about he, he's this. he's a half brother to Rihanna and he's a lovely cock Jerry but he wasn't, there was nothing really bred off him either. Yeah, Rihanna was the pigeon that, uh, she won one of the titles in 2019, one of the top pigeons of Yanda Bishkops uh, in 2019. Uh, so this is a beautiful cock and it's hard to believe that someone could have the, these quality pigeons out the uh, back and not the breed. But I see where the Herbie's coming from. Um, he wants to concentrate on these uh, Van der Bulks and the Leo Harmon pigeons and uh, for the sprint racing between uh, between uh, 80 mile and uh, 200 mile and they do that really well. Champion flyers in two, uh, two sections um, in the Irish South Road Fed including being overall champion himself and John Hayden. But this uh, pigeon here, I think he's very very special, lovely feathering pigeon super uh, pigeon in every way in the hand and again I would highly rec recommend this cock. His father is uh, a direct son of Eric. Eric is responsible uh, for na breeding national winners 
and he's come and the reason his name is Eric, he's one of the top pigeons that came from Eric Lindbergh. So there you go, a really, really special pigeon. Uh, a half brother to Rihanna. Uh, again, it is lot number genie. Lot number two, so there you go, watch out for lot number two. So okay, I believe we've got lot number 22 here, Herbie, in your hand. He's a real, real uh, nice pigeon as well. Yeah, well, he's a full brother to a national winner, Jan. Yeah, if you want to have a look at him, Yeah, a beautiful cock as well, a full brother to one of uh, Yonder Bishop's uh, famous pigeons, Dijan. This pigeon in my hand, who's going in the sale, is uh, a full brother. Uh, a full brother to that, a national uh, winner, and he's coming down from the 615 and the old base hen. So, these pigeons here is as rare as hens. See, I don't think if you went to Yonder Bishop, you could get a pigeon now the same way bred as this pigeon here. Full brother to the thing, and down uh, the national winner, and uh, down direct from the 615 and the old base hen. This is Yonder Bishop at its really best. It's lot number 22. And again, I would highly recommend this pigeon here as well. Okay. Okay, we've got again something really nice. These are all from Yonder Bishop's top pigeons, as I told you. Complete round of pigeons bought from all the principal pigeons. And this pigeon here is exceptionally bred. Uh, the mother of the pigeon. It's an uh, eagle blackie too. And it's a beautiful cup. Lovely balanced, very lovely strong. Yeah, and, and that's the direct, uh, direct, direct son of Eagle Black like like 2, which was a provincial ace pigeon ourselves. Sorry, the mother, a provincial ace pigeon. The mother of the pigeon. And not only that, the father of th this pigeon is uh, new, uh, new Bliscombe as well, which is uh, a top pigeon. He's a national winner, he is. Um, a national winner with uh, 3,721 pigeons, I think. Not only did he win that, he won a good few uh, other forces as well, along with it. So, this pigeon here, direct off, his mother was a provincial ace pigeon. His father's a national winner and one of the principal breeding pigeons, a Yanda Bishop uh, breeding lot at this moment in time. He's, uh, he's we've four pigeons in the sale three other pigeons the exact same way bred as this pigeon off the thing as we said earlier on there's nothing getting held back all these pigeons are all in the sale he's a beautiful cock i don't know whether heavy you bred from this no, guy never bred from the 88 never bred from the 88 so there you go i haven't got the room dirty in it yeah so there you go forward direct from uh from uh, the soil and dam of this pigeon here, so there you go, really special. Okay, we'll just wrap up now. With this auction will start on the racing pigeon www.racingpigeon.co.uk slash auctions, and then look for Jerry McCord, and you'll see these pigeons. The auction will start on the 20th of uh, November and finish on the 27th, uh, the week after. And then we'll do the second batch of these pigeons then the following uh, week. I think there's 20, 47 in total. 47 in total. And they're all gone. There's Every no pigeons because you know pigeon and he's always keeping back no, what he wants. No, every one of the pigeons are gone here. There you go. Compared to the mothers and fathers of all the pigeons that I mentioned earlier. Yeah, yeah, and they were just, as we said earlier on, the few pigeons. But I picked out the race. I didn't read, we didn't read off of pretty many pigeons. Okay, so this could be a golden opportunity for someone. Anybody that uh, sees this video and not able to do it themselves online, just ring me and I'll uh, sort out your uh, bidding for because I know there's a lot of people don't like uh, going. I'll sort any problems you have, just get in touch with me. My phone number will be on this video and I'll sort every, everything out. So, okay, thanks, Herbie. Uh, thank they're really, really class pigeons, so thanks good luck to the new buyers as well. I wish for everybody the best to look with them, because every, all the whole family's going, and they're lovely pigeons. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Okay, thanks, Herbie. I know we shouldn't be doing this, but uh, shaking hands, I mean. Uh, so, okay, then, the best of luck, whoever's chasing after the pigeons. I hope we get